What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on Five Star Cars, the car discussion channel on YouTube. We're not news, we just want to discuss about what's going on, just have a laugh and just chat below in the comments of your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't done so already guys, please do smash the like button and also the subscribe button, help us to get to 2000 subs. Because every time you smash the subscribe button, gets us one step closer to getting a project car, which I will be giving an update in, I don't know, maybe this week or next week. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. Just on how much I've saved, and as I'm trying to do this on my own funds, because I make fuck all on YouTube. But uh, on today's episode, guys, we're going to be covering DDE, uh, we're going to be covering Novi Tech, and we're going to be covering Matt Armstrong and a few others as well. Uh, also, guys, if you want to tag me and stuff on Instagram or send me stories or stuff you want me to look into or videos or want to chat to me on my Instagram, uh, my DMs are always open. Hit me up, send me a message on Instagram. If you want to come on for a podcast and just have a chat, and um, please do let me know. I'll bring you on the channel as well. And also recommend any small channels, car channel guys as well in the comments below. That would be great also. So jumping into today's video, we'll be kicking it off with DDE. Obviously their latest video has been um, them in Vancouver looking at the McLaren uh, Atour, Artura. So they're saying it's a possible car for them to buy. Um, now, uh, one of the Instagram pages, DDE Squad, he's a guy in Australia. He basically said that um, there's, I don't know, there's rumors rumbling around that he could, Dave could possibly end up getting the 675 LT and get rid of his Squadra Corsa. Um, they are, I then went and obviously saw the Atura and uh, they said it's a hybrid and could be a possible car for the channel. So what do you think guys, should they buy it? Um, I think they said in the dealer said that it comes out at the end of this year around October November um, I love the Tora. I really like it um, it's kind of like the old 570s but like a bit more aggressive um, it does 205 miles an hour uh, it has 531 foot-pounds of torque and 671 brake horsepower all for the lovely cheap sum of 225 American dollars. I think that works out as like 260-ish Canadian thereabouts. Um, that is an unbelievable amount of car and power and, and just specs for that kind of money. Um, you know, and I'm presuming so you could probably tweak it and get a bit more out of it as well. So um, yeah, I really do like it. Uh, hopefully they will go and actually uh, I would definitely approve of this purchase. Let's see if Dave does end up getting the um, the 765 LT though. That would be a crazy purchase if he got that. That'd be more of a, I, I don't know, I always feel with DDE, it's like, I feel maybe, I don't know about you, that Dave has, or Damon has to have the higher, more expensive cars than Dave, uh, unless I, because they've had so many cars now, I can't remember the amount of cars they've had, but I would love to see Dave get the 765 LT, that is a beast of a thing, and um, maybe they'll end up getting an SF90 at some stage as well, so yeah, let me know in the comments below guys what you think of them thinking about getting the Atura, um, yeah, I think it'd be a very good purchase, and I'd love to see him spec one as well. Uh, next up is going to be Novitech. So Novitech, we haven't covered them in a while. If you haven't seen their channel, guys, I highly recommend going over checking it out. They do a Supercars Diaries thing where they do, um, they basically talk and let and check out their Novitech modified cars that they do. Um, this time, they have done the Ferrari F8, their own Novitech Ferrari F8. And it was a really good um, video. I liked it. You got very close-ups of basically what they've done to the car. They actually had a subscriber in the car with them and basically answered some questions people asked. And uh, it sounds amazing. Uh, so here's a quick clip for you guys. For the moment, you're gonna have to make me deal with that. Hide my emotions there. Sorry. I actually hold the grip here because I thought <laughs> I uh, oh, Great. <laughs> See why I mentioned the car. There you have it, guys. I highly recommend uh, link in the description below. Watch it because they do some really good shots, and it's just interesting to hear this, um, uh, what they've done to the car, the parts they put on it. I think the kit. Now I don't know when he said he said the kit was fifty-five thousand. 
I don't know if that was just 55,000 for the whole kit on the car or if that was a specific kit. I'm presuming it's the whole kit, maybe. So you get the wheels, the carbon fiber bits and pieces, and the stage two tune with the exhaust system uh, and the suspension as well. I love the way they've modified this F8. It is gorgeous looking. I'm a big fan of white and gold wheels. Um, it is a color combo and considering for the project car whenever we get it. Um, but this F8 sounds awesome. It looks unbelievable. I mean, the OV Tech are definitely up there for me. One of the brands, if you have the money to let them mod a car, I would definitely suggest <laughs> getting them to do it because they really do do some good jobs. And it was just a really good video to watch. So I highly recommend go checking it out, guys. Um, I, I mean, I can't, I, I can't stress enough how good the Novi Tech videos have been getting lately and I just love the way they shoot them and the way their cars sound with that exhaust system that they have and um, yeah just some really good I think this F8 they tuned it up to 802 horsepower it's an absolute beast of a thing so definitely go and check it out highly recommend it next up is going to be Matt Armstrong uh, good old Matt Armstrong has continued his um, BMW I think it's an M4 I can't remember I'm pretty sure it's an M4 build um, and it was really cool to see the way that the subframe was fucked on it and he had to go away and change out the subframe himself which he'd never done before and it's really cool to see people do this kind of work when they've never done it before and get their opinion on what it's like to do it like he had to go away like but the way he had to maneuver stuff and jack stuff up like jack up the engine get the engine mounts engine mounts off and drop the subframe and I was quite surprised that he found a second-hand one for around £400 or something with the, uh, with the suspension as well. Um, and, you know, he even got the, um, I think it was the oil uh, pan, I think it was busted as well. He got that replaced. Um, I think they wanted the BMW went to 600 He paid £600 new for a new one. Um, crazy, crazy money. Um, but yeah, it was really great to see him work on the car and just what he went through to get it done. If you haven't checked out Matt's channel, guys, I highly recommend it. It's really good the way he modifies cars and the work that he does himself. Um, and just good energy in the videos. And I, I really like watching him work on cars and, and you just see the things that he goes through by himself. And uh, it kind of encourages you to do, do stuff yourself, like, you know. So, highly recommend check it out in the link in the description below. Um, next up is going to be my friend Anthony from Sports and Touring. Um, his latest video was brilliant. I've been waiting for him to make this video for a while. And it's a piece of kit that, if any car YouTubers out there are watching this, I highly recommend you go and buy. Um, basically, it's a 360 view camera. Uh, where you just he basically explains the name of the camera uh, I can't remember it because I'm a terrible fucking person <laughs> so I um, had it up on my screen and I literally uh, it's gone now but he basically explains like uh, how it works um, how he gets the shots and it, it does like it does when he makes video guys they come out so good and one of my favorite things that he does is when it's, it's pointing to you in the car and then it whips around to the front as a car is passing and stuff like that. And the way he edits these videos are absolutely brilliant. And this, I was always wondering how he did it and what piece of equipment he had. And he goes into detail about it. And I really recommend this is some piece of kit that you would get if you really want to push your, um, your uh, car videos and vlogging to the next level uh, as well. Um, so he clipped it onto a pole on the back of the car and just took basically off down the road and it just looks like it's a camera following you from behind it it's really really cool to see it and um, i i know would i buy that piece of kit i would if i had the money but i don't think i can afford something like that at the moment i think it's around three to four hundred um pounds there thereabouts to buy um, so if you're thinking of getting it highly recommend it link in the description below guys i really recommend going watching this video if you're interested in getting this piece of kit for vlogging uh, to bring up your i don't know car videos to the next level because anthony's videos are really sick when he does them on the r8 and the 370 mismo as well and then last up on the list guys is going to be evan shanks um, he's continued his build on the r32 that he's giving away to one lucky person that wins it um, He's gone and got new wheels on the car, and uh, yeah, the new wheels are absolutely sick. I love them. I didn't think they were, when he pulled off the cover, I was like, they are nice looking, but I'm not too sure if they're gonna suit it. 
but he got the camber right and they look lovely on it. Uh, he still put on the side skirts. Now I'm gonna admit, I am not an R32 person. I do not like the shape of them. I know I'm a super guy. I do like the R34s and obviously the R35s, um, but I do not like the R32s one bit. I just, for some weird reason, it's something about the shape of them. I don't like the way the front bumper just kind of goes, kind of goes out and then really kind of in on the bottom. Um, I don't know, it's just, I'm a very, when you have wheels like that, on a car like the R32, I like my wheels to be really flush and I just leave, I have to have my bumpers and side skirts all to match up and just to go with the whole wheel. If a wheel just looks like it's just overtaking the car, it's not for me and I feel, they're lovely wheels, but I feel like they're overtaking the car and uh, that's just me. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you think of these wheels. Would you put them on your car? Um, they are really, really nice, but they do suit it. So uh, yeah, I just said I'd show you as well. So that is it for today, guys. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you. Again, if you're new and you've watched the end, please do smash the uh, subscribe button. And again, guys, the regular commenters and viewers, I, I every time you just, smash it you just keep smashing that like button and thanks a million for commenting because it does mean the world to me i love chatting to you in the comments below so guys i hope um you enjoyed this until the next episode stay safe peace out and keep it lit